You may have noticed that Groove Agent 1 has been all but ignored until now. And that's because there's enough capability in this instrument that it gets its own chapter. Groove Agent 1 is a cool little synth. Pretty easy to use, but it does have a few quirks. There are two big issues that most people run into with Groove Agent 1. The first is finding the play button, which is hard because there isn't a play button. You have to use a MIDI insert like Beat Designer or Step Designer or a MIDI track to actually trigger the notes. You have to remember that even though it looks like a drum machine, Groove Agent 1 is really a drum synth. The second problem is getting Beat Designer's pattern to line up with Groove Agent's sounds. The secret here is how to use Media Bay. If we open Media Bay and we filter for patterns, you'll see that most of the patterns in here are for Groove Agent 1. Pick out a pattern you like, double click, and you'll get an instrument track with all the trimmings Groove Agent 1, the right preset, Beat Designer with the right patterns, and some EQ and effects at no extra charge. Now, unfortunately, most folks never get past the presets, which is a shame because there is so much creative potential here. Let's open up Groove Agent 1 and get into it. You can mute and solo each pad, which is fairly self explanatory. And you can edit groups of pads instead of just one at a time. Press the Command key, then click on the pads that you want to group. The focus pads stay light green, and the others turn this sort of broccoli green. Now, when I adjust the volume on the focused pads, the whole group is adjusted. And by default, they'll keep their relative levels. If you want to force them all to an absolute value, hold the command key while making the adjustment. So you've already figured out that you can have eight groups of pads in Groove Agent, and that only the groups outlined in red have sounds in them. So most of your pads are empty. Here's how to fix that and bring in your own sounds. All you have to do is drag and drop the sounds that you want onto the pads that you want. Let's start with something really basic. Go to a group of blank pads and pick a pad. Open Media Bay and search for Snare. Clear any other filters, of course, because we want to look for audio. Pick a sound that you like and drag it onto the pad. And then you can rename the pad. And if you right click on the key assignment and hold, you can set the pad to any key. But check this out you can also drag and drop from the pool. You can even drag right from the project window. Or you can even drag right from Loop Mesh. Or you can open the sample editor and grab a chunk of recording by grabbing a region. Here's how. Double click to open the sample editor. Scrub around until you find what you want. Turn on Show Regions. Highlight what you want. Click the plus to create a region. Name it. And then drag it over. You also get the ability to drag in whole groups of sounds at once. Open Media Bay again, and let's search for toms. If I hold down the Shift key, I can grab a bunch of sounds at once. Now, if I drag them over to a pad and release, look what happens. Groove Agent automatically layers them. And it sets up velocity splits based on how many sounds I dropped. As I click on the pad from top to bottom, I'll hear the sounds change with the velocity value. There's even more here. If I repeat that same move, but this time I hold down the Shift key when I drop them, Groove Agent will spread them across the available pads instead of layering them. If I want to swap in a different sound, drag it over 
and hold down the Option key, or on a PC, the Alt key, and drop it. You can even do this right on the individual layer tab if you just want to change one layer in a group. So let's take this up one more level and we'll slice up a drum loop and bring it over. Go back to Media Bay and search for a drum loop that you like. Double click to throw it into the project and then open the part editor. Activate hit points and adjust the threshold. Now the idea here is to make this drum loop into a drum kit for Groove Agent. So try to get to one drum sound per hit point. Go ahead and slice the loop. And now you guessed it. Grab the slices, drag them over, hold the shift key and bombs away. In just a few seconds, you've taken an audio drum recording and turned it into a playable MIDI drum kit. But hang on, there is another bonus feature here for you. Did you notice how this exchange pad suddenly lit up? It does that when you drag in slices from a loop. If you click and drag the exchange pad into the project window like this, Cubase will automatically create a MIDI part with the same groove as the original loop. How cool is that? You get automatic groove extraction thrown into the deal anytime you drag in a sliced loop. After you have your sounds loaded, you can do all kinds of cool stuff with them. Click the pad you want to edit and click Voice. You can reverse your sample with the mode control, which is handy. You have coarse and fine tuning. This control can be very important. This is your mute group, and it lets you set up pads that won't play at the same time like to make sure that the closed hi-hat sound always mutes the open hi-hat sound. There are eight mute groups in all, and all group one sounds will mute all other group ones. Next is trigger mode, and you can set this for one shot or key hold. Now for most drums, you'll want one shot. This way, for example, you can trigger the crash symbol once and it'll ring on on its own. Let's swap this for key hold to see the difference. Now, trigger mode is a bigger deal if you're using Groove Agent 1 live as a launch pad to fire off different clips like you would with an MPC style DJ setup. Some clips you want to fire and forget, and some you want to be able to stutter. The last control here is output, and just like Halley and Sonic, if you use Groove Agent in the VST rack, you have the option to route 16 outputs from it so that every pad could be on its own separate track for effects and EQ and so forth. The filter tab is really straightforward. It's basically an onboard EQ for each pad. And the Amplifier tab lets you set volume and panning, but also has attack and release settings to fine-tune the sample. And of course you can set up all of this for each layer if you're working with a layered pad. Finally, when everything is set, Save it. Click the icon next to the preset pop-up and select Save Preset. And when you get ready to automate Groove Agent 1, you'll have access to volume, pan, mute, cutoff, and resonance. Now let's move on to the next chapter and take a look at automation and multiband compression.